going on guys this is the one man army mystery easy for life come back at you guys once again with another bns video today i got that warlock video i told you guys about and i'm gonna go ahead and uh share with you some uh some of the things i did over the past five days uh to get this character to whoops not uh, not the msp but uh to 600 ap as you can see uh right there so uh, yeah 600 ap um when i started this character uh, she was level 45, yeah, she was level 45, and she had 398 AP, 398, uh, AP, after salvaging the weapon that I had, uh, I had, let's see, it gave me this one right here, so, uh, yeah, so I had, I started out with the Ivory Moon, uh, Razor, stage 1, right, attack power 259, which was about, let's see, that's pretty close to what True Profane was, True Profane I think was at, used to be at 265, 265 was True Profane, after that it would be the Siren and whatnot, and then Oathbreaker came along, uh, but w whatever, so I had Ivory Moon Stage 1, that's what I had uh, in the beginning, and uh, she was level 45, uh, with 398 AP, alright, so what I did to pretty much take her to 600 within 5 days was since she's level 45 I could go straight into the Silver Frost content and that's what I did I pretty much did the storyline and uh, I pretty much did Silver Frost chapter 4 I did Acts 5 and 6 as well as the uh, DKV storyline um, which is only 5 chapters is super easy and that took her up from 398 all the way up to 4 41 I think I want to say it was I think it was like it was like the, it was like the low 440s was uh, what she was at by the time she reached level 50 right she had that five levels of stats and uh, oh and she also had some um, I was able to get some uh, HM levels as well so I believe uh, by the end of it she just made HM5 right so HM5 so we got a little bit of five hungman levels and uh, some five you know levels from 45 to 50 and then the HM 1 through 5 uh, stat uh, increases from there so that yeah so she was about 440 when the uh, by the time I finished all that and I said to myself well I think the biggest thing that we should probably work on is her weapon all right so what I did was I went and on my easy on easy life my main and I pretty much sent her I sent over some mats and I ended up buying a few mats as well in the auction house right farming up some gold and uh, buying out some moonstones because I believe you needed uh, 70 moonstones I went ahead and used the alteration path and uh, pretty much went to Avalanche Den, since it's the fastest out of the three easy dungeons, uh, to get some tormenting weapons, right? So I, I did Avalanche Den until I had uh, was able to get two uh, two tormented razors, because I believe you need two uh, in order to get from Awakened Ivory to True Ivory, right? Um, so yeah, that's what I did. Also bought out, I bought out the King Razor and the Alpine Razor, and as you can see from the uh, leveling footage, as you can see, I took her from True, I uh, from regular Ivory Moon to Awakened Ivory Moon, all the way to True Ivory Moon. Okay, opened up some gem slots as well, and I put in some gems, uh, some shitty gems. Honestly, they're really not the best gems at, at all. Um, just to fill in the gaps, right? Just to fill in the gaps, I took her, I also gave her an attack power 28. Uh, it would be better if I had the attack power 35, but I don't have an extra one on me, so I gave her the 28. And that took her up to, I believe, 538. Alright, so now she's 538. And uh, pretty much after that... Uh, after getting to 538, I went ahead and I bought out three of the Oathbreaker Path uh, weapon paths. I get the fragments because uh, this is pretty much how I got the Hung Moon Energy Stage One. Uh, if you go to the, if those of you who don't know, if you go to the auction house and you type in, uh, I guess broken, broken whatever, you could see it right here: the Oathbreaker Sword Blade, the Swords False Edge, and the and the Blade Point. If you get all, if you buy out all three of these pieces. You can convert it into, uh, you can right click on one of the pieces and convert it into a Hungman Energy Stage 1. So that's another 15 AP. So that's what I did for her right there. Another 15 AP. Uh, other than that, the accessories is pretty simple. All I did was uh, get the pinnacle set, right? Pinnacle bracelet, pinnacle necklace, belt, and the ring. Now the ring, I, I, I do realize that the ring sucks. Right, the ring is absolutely terrible, as well as the earring. That's why I didn't actually go with the earring. I upgraded the Hung Moon earring, uh, Inferno earring, all the way up to Awaken Oathbreaker, and that's the one I'm using now. I plan to get it up even higher, of course. Uh, and uh, I, I'm using the ring because I don't actually have a true pirate ring. <laughs> I only have the. Um, what the hell is it at? Oh, there it is. Okay. 
Alright, okay, well, my mistake, actually, my, my, mis my mistake, sorry, guys, um, I, I said I had the Infernal Ring, I actually have the Awakened Siren Ring, that's right, I upgraded it to the Awakened Siren just last night, how the fuck could I forget that? Uh, anyway, so yeah, but I'm still using the Pinnacle, because as you can see, I don't necessarily get anything good except Critical, um, I plan on getting a different Bullpi set as well, but this is, the reason why I'm using the Pinnacle is, as you can see, I get more Evasion, Attack Power, and, uh, Critical Damage, right, Critical Damage is very important to have, um, so yeah, I have the, I only have the Awakened Siren Ring, but I believe if I had the true pirate or something whatever the hell it's called the one before oathbreaker it would actually be just about the same as the pinnacle ring or if i had awakened oathbreaker i would swap it out with that or if i had awakened oathbreaker ring i would swap it out uh and that would be that so uh yeah so pretty much just rocking the uh, pinnacle ring or pinnacle accessories attack gives me attack power 18 obviously the bra the bracelet right now is best in slot so you want to pick that up from uh, shatter mass uh, you can use the necklace it's pretty decent although if you do have the oath necklace from tomb go ahead and use that uh, same thing with the belt the pinnacle belt is actually pretty damn good but of course if you can get the one from foundry go ahead and use that if not then use the pinnacle belt or the true boss belt I guess it, it doesn't really matter I don't really know um, but uh, yeah that is pretty much that I don't have a soul badge yet I plan to get one of course um, and this is what the uh, the boat I said that I'm rocking so I'm just I just have what well, this is basically what I was able to get within five days well actually three days was done you taking my time chilling and you was doing the storyline in the past two days have just been running dungeons with my uh, with my guild right so yeah, my guild, my guild pretty much carried me through everything, and you're gonna see some footage of me running uh, Naryu Foundry on like a fucking 578 Warlock or whatever, super under gear. But because my guild is so amazing, I love my guild. They're able to carry me through, uh, and plus I'm able to help them as well with the soul burn, so that's always nice. Um, but uh, yeah, they pretty much carried me through the uh, the dungeons and uh, or the raids. I'm sorry. Uh, and I was able to get some epic loot from it. Uh, so as you can see, I also have, um, I got my three-piece Oblivion. Obviously, the this one right here is not the best, but the, really, the only reason why I'm using it is because uh, for that three-piece bonus, right? The 7% uh, attack uh, crit damage, right? The crit damage bonus, as you can see uh, right there. So I, if I get a better piece, obviously, I'll re-roll it. But as of right now, I'm just using it for the uh, the, the bonus. And then the Asura five-piece is, uh, I, uh, uh, it's nothing special. This is just pretty much what I was able to get my hands on. Uh, it gives me five more AP as well as crit damage seven. So it's about 14% altogether. Uh, I am working on the Ebon, right? I am working on the admin, as you can see, I only have, I really only have piece number two. Uh, the other pieces I got from running admin is actually, I ended up getting three, five, and seven as extra pieces. So obviously I couldn't use that, so the only one that uh, was able to be salvaged or used was the uh, piece number two, which I haven't even unsealed it yet, so I don't even know if that's a good roll or not. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm working on, getting the, the five piece admin. Uh, but as of right now, uh, what I was able to get in two days... Uh, the past two days, uh, I was able to get uh, this, 5-piece Sura, 3-piece uh, Oblivion. And that is about that, man. So just to recap, uh, I took my Ivory Moon to True Ivory Moon, uh, filled in the gaps with these shitty-ass gems, and uh, just rocking the full pinnacle set. I had some gold to, had enough gold to uh, bump the Infernal Ring all the way up to, or Earring up to Oathbreaker. Planned to get it even higher, of course, the True Boss. And then I was able to buy the three, uh, three Oathbreaker edges uh, uh, sword, broken sword pieces or whatever to, to make myself a Hung Moon Energy so I don't have to go through Naryu Labyrinth or fucking use my feathers for Mandate to buy when I could just, you know, pretty much grab some stuff off the auction house. It's a little bit pricey, I will admit that, but this is why I have a main to do all the, uh, the grindy work, right? Pre Prerequisite grindy work to dump into my alt, I guess you could say. Uh, so yeah, that is about that. I think that's uh, pretty much explains it, how I got from 398 to 600. And just a lot of carries, a lot of freaking carries from my guild. So that's why I, I, I really stress you guys, for those of you who are guildless, I really stress you guys on finding... Uh, I really recommend recommend you guys finding a really decent guild, a really really good guild, people that will have no problem helping you out, uh, carrying you through the uh, the raids, and uh, overall just dumping all this some decent loot on you, uh, just so you can get your alts up to speed. Now making an alt is very easy now, of course, right? Especially with the event going on, uh, the weapon event. You're able to get more mats as well as you're able to buy out more mats uh, through the gold that you're able to farm. And getting the, of course with the new we uh, weapon evolution, getting from Ivory Moon to True Ivory Moon with the alternate path is very simple, man. It's super, super easy. It's not as grindy as it used to be when you had to go through Oathbreaker, Breeze, uh, Awakened Scorpio, then True Scorpio, and then fucking, you know, Seraph, Bel Belfort, whatever. Uh, 
The costs have been reduced, making alts is a lot more easier now. It's more alt friendly as well as new player friendly, right? So yeah, guys, that is pretty much how I got my alt to 398 to 600. Um, yeah, I, I pretty much don't have much to say. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you guys is just some clips of, of the final boss fights in the big three raids that, that drop uh, big three um, legendaries. To Just to show you guys that I'm not talking out of my ass when I say that I ran this undergeared fucking warlock on Naryu Phalangy or Tomb or Ebon or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, guys, that is pretty much that. Stay tuned for more videos to come your way. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy these clips. And uh, have an easy day, man. Love you all as always. And uh, yeah, this has been the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life. And I'm out. Peace. No, it was at uh, 87, wasn't it? Or... Yeah, the boss was at 87 when he jumped. Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, you can take that side? Okay, I'll take the side. Oh, wait. Am I even taking one side? No, okay. Alright. I'm right here. No, it's okay. You have to uh, stay next to you. There you go. Come on, we have to do a perfect run. He's not going to win the whip anymore. I know. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, look at that. Stoner. Stoner. Be good. Just making like, sure. Yeah. yeah. That's that's so good. Yeah. He was too big. Mm -hmm. Oh, I said it. Fuck. Gonna fuck up again. You timed this only when we were uh, grip. You already used it? Yep. Yep. Oh my god, what a move. Shut the fuck up. You play a <laughs> warlock and you tell me how to do it. No, you don't. Like, right now when we're all grouped up, we'll be the best. Alright, I'll be sure to... I'm gonna remember that. God damn. Oh, well, I'm... I'm, I'm marked anyway. <laughs> I didn't even... I'm not used to being marked, I never get marked. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be up. You want me again? Yeah, not up. No.
<laughs> oh. Like now. Right oh. now. You wait any longer, it's too late. Oh, it's too late now. Uh. Oh, I got grabbed. Well, it's not gonna be up this time. Nope. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, real funny, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay. Oh yeah, I see it. Okay. Okay. Here he comes. Okay, as long as it doesn't take too long, we should be good. Alright. Uh, we probably have like 20 seconds. Okay. And there. Yep. Uh, when the CC bars are up, double stun. Or not double stun. Here it comes. Thank you. 
Down. <laughs> oh no? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Right. My bad. Sorry. Hey, do you like me at number one? Which, which, which one is it? Oh, fuck you. This shit. puts a buff on the boss, but it's not Groot, so it's something else. Okay. I had no idea I even had this back. Damn. Yeah, There's an ornament. Is that the PvP one? Thanks for watching today's video guys, it really means a lot to me. If you like what you see, then don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button, or even better yet, click that bell you see on the screen now to become part of the notification squad today. In order to get notified when a new video gets uploaded, increasing your chances to write first in the comment section below. Now all my social media links are in the description box below, and if you don't give a shit about any of that, then just share this video with your friends, share this with your family, or even share this with your mom. Any support at all is greatly appreciated. I love you guys as always, and I hope you all are having a very easy day, and this has been the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life, and I'm out. Peace!